What is the difference between crow and parrot intelligence? If I told you there are animals out there that can outwit a fox, unlock a puzzle faster than a human toddler, and remember your face for years, would you think I was talking about dolphins? Or chimpanzees? Maybe even dogs? You might be surprised to hear I'm talking about two feathered creatures you've probably seen in your neighborhood, or maybe in a pet shop window. The humble crow and the colorful parrot. One wears a sleek black suit. The other flaunts an outrageous paint job. One thrives in bustling cities, the other calls the tropical forest home. But under those feathers, two of the most remarkable brains in the entire animal kingdom. Today, we're putting them head to head, not in a fight of beak and claw, but in a battle of wits, crows versus parrots. Who wins in the game of intelligence? And the answer might change the way you look at birds forever. Could a bird be as smart as a primate? Here's the first thing you need to throw out the window. The phrase, bird brain. For centuries, people thought it meant dumb, a way to mock someone's lack of thinking power. But scientists now know that that's about as wrong as calling an octopus a fish. Crows and parrots have brains that, while small compared to ours, are densely packed with neurons, especially in the forebrain, the area responsible for higher thinking planning, and problem-solving. If you could magically scale a crow or parrot brain up to human size, the neuron density would rival that of primates. In other words, they've squeezed a supercomputer into something the size of a walnut. Crows, from the corvid family, tend to have a more streamlined brain design for quick problem-solving in the wild, often involving tools and planning. Parrots, on the other hand, have an additional structure the medial spiriform nucleus, which is linked to their incredible vocal learning and social intelligence. Think of it like this. The crow is your friend who's a master at fixing cars with nothing but duct tape and a screwdriver, while the parrot is the friend who can not only fix the car, but also tell you hilarious stories in three different languages while doing it. Are birds secretly the engineers of the animal world? If intelligence is measured by how you solve a problem, crows have earned a permanent spot at the top of the leaderboard. In the wild, the New Caledonian crow is basically the MacGyver of the bird world. It has been seen snapping twigs, stripping them down, and carefully shaping the tips into hooks, all to pull juicy grubs out of tiny crevices in tree bark. They've been caught cutting leaves into knife-like shapes, and in one famous case, bending a straight piece of wire into a perfect hook to lift a food bucket out of a narrow tube on the first try. And they don't stop at tools. Urban crows have learned to drop hard-shelled nuts at pedestrian crosswalks, waiting for the cars to crack them open, then swooping in to grab the prize when the traffic light turns red. One Japanese study even filmed a crow using a paper cup to scoop water for a drink. They are innovators in survival situations, capable of inventing new solutions on the spot. Parrots, on the other hand, might not be as famous for inventing tools in the wild, but they have their own brand of genius. Give a parrot a lock, and it turns into a feathery locksmith. They've been known to open cage latches, unhook safety clips, and dismantle entire toys just to see how they work. Some even do it for fun, not because they need to escape, but simply because they can. In one memorable study, a Kia, a large mischievous parrot from New Zealand, figured out how to undo a complicated latch that took human children several tries to open. Another African Grey learned how to unscrew the cap of a bottle, pour out the contents, and then put the cap back on as if covering its tracks. How far back can a bird's mind go? Let's talk memory, because brains aren't just about solving puzzles, they're about remembering solutions. Crows have what's called episodic-like memory. They can remember not just where they hid food, but when they hid it and what kind of food it was. They'll even steal from other crows, and knowing the game, they'll rehide their loot in secret. But perhaps the most chilling and strangely human trait is their ability to remember faces. A crow can recognize you years later, especially if you've wronged them. 
They'll scold you, dive at you, and even recruit their friends to join in the harassment. Yes, crows hold grudges. Parrots, meanwhile, have remarkable long-term memory for social relationships and sounds. A parrot can remember a specific word, song, or even joke for decades. They can also recall the emotional context. They'll remember how you made them feel. So here's the takeaway. Crows remember the details of events and use that information for strategic planning. Parrots remember the stories, the voices, the relationships. They're building an emotional and social map of their world. Do birds have their own language? When we talk about intelligence, we often focus on what an animal can do right now. But the real magic is in how they prepare for the future. And here's where crows and parrots both shine in different ways. Crows are masters of planning ahead, especially when it comes to food. In experiments, scientists have given crows a choice between eating a small snack immediately or holding onto a tool they could use hours later to get a much bigger reward. Time after time, the crows resisted temptation, keeping the tool and returning later to use it, something most animals, and honestly a lot of humans, struggle with. And then there's their mental maps. Crows hide food in dozens, sometimes hundreds of locations. Months later, even after snow has covered every possible landmark, they can still find their caches. They're not guessing, they remember exactly where they put each stash. Even more impressive, they can keep track of whether other crows were watching when they hid the food. If they're being spied on, they'll sometimes sneak back later and move their cache somewhere else. That's not just memory. That's a form of paranoia that requires imagining what another bird might be thinking. Parrots, meanwhile, use their memory for entirely different challenges. In the wild, flocks of macaws travel across vast stretches of rainforest in search of specific fruiting trees that may only produce food for a short window each year. They remember exactly when and where these trees will bear fruit, and they'll lead their flocks to those spots at the perfect time like living calendars with wings. In captivity, parrots show their memory skills in games and puzzles. One African Grey named Griffin was given a shell game with cups, where food was hidden under one cup and shuffled around. Not only could he track the treat through multiple swaps, but he could still get it right even after a deliberate distraction in the middle of the game. That's working memory on par with, and in some cases exceeding, young children. Does sociability make parrots smarter than crows? Here's a major difference. Parrots are deeply social, often living in large, complex flocks where cooperation is key. This environment has shaped them into masters of negotiation, alliance building, and yes, gossip. A parrot in a flock must remember dozens of individual relationships. Who's a friend? Who's a rival? Who owes them a favor? That's political intelligence bird edition. Crows, while social too, often operate in smaller, looser family groups, especially outside breeding season. Their social skills are more about cooperation in the moment, say mobbing a hawk, than maintaining lifelong bonds. But this independence comes with its own advantage. Crows are self-reliant strategists, able to survive in vastly different environments without constant support from a group. It's the difference between thriving as part of a tight-knit tribe versus excelling as a lone wanderer who can make allies when needed. Play is one of the clearest signs of intelligence. Both crows and parrots love it, but in different ways. Crows will slide down snowy rooftops, play tug-of-war with sticks, and even play catch with other animals. Some have been seen playing games with dogs, dropping sticks and retrieving them in what looks suspiciously like fetch. Parrots are equally playful, but often with a social twist, tossing toys back and forth, inventing call-and-response games, and even teasing their owners. Some parrots have been caught mimicking a ringing tone, waiting for you to answer, and then laughing. Play, for both, is more than fun. It's how they learn, test boundaries, and strengthen relationships. Are parrots or crows the ultimate survivors? Crows are masters of urban survival. They'll nest in skyscrapers, scavenge from trash, and learn human schedules to avoid danger. They adapt to new food sources within days and can exploit almost any environment. 
parrots, especially wild ones, are more tied to specific habitats. While some species adapt well in cities, many are specialized for certain diets or nesting sites. Their adaptability shines in social problem-solving rather than environmental versatility. It's the ultimate contrast. Crows are generalists who can live anywhere. Parrots are specialists who thrive in the right social and ecological conditions. Who's smarter? It's like asking whether a chess grandmaster is smarter than a stand-up comedian. Both have brilliance, just in different arenas. Crows are the pragmatic tacticians, toolmakers, strategists, masters of survival. Parrots are the charismatic diplomats, talkers, social planners, emotional geniuses. In the end, intelligence wears many faces, or in this case, many beaks. And maybe the real lesson here isn't which bird wins, but that two creatures so different in color, shape, and lifestyle can both reach such astonishing heights of thought. Next time you see a crow watching you from a lamppost or hear a parrot chattering in a pet shop, remember, you're looking into the eyes of a mind that might be studying you.